Finally, dude. I've been waiting so long to record this very specific video, and today is finally the day. So over the past few years, we've gotten a lot of FNAF-like movies, like the Banana Splits movie, The Hug, which wasn't a movie, it was a, uh, a Hulu short film. And most recently, for this year, we have gotten a lot of news about a Nicolas Cage movie called Willy's Wonderland. Again, I've been meaning to talk about this movie for so long at this point on the channel, but there just wasn't really a good time to talk about it. Even though I haven't made a video on it, that doesn't mean I haven't been following the progress and the development of the movie. 3C Films, he is a fantastic YouTuber. He gives so much information on upcoming movies, and I've been watching this man's like a hawk when it comes to the Willy's Wonderland film. And today we finally have the teaser trailer for this movie. I've been waiting so long for a trailer for this thing, and it's finally here. I say trailer, it's 15 seconds. So, not really much of anything. Before I go forward, I do want to say that this is an R-rated movie, so if you are on the younger side, you may want to click off this video. There's some gore, there's some sexual content in the trailer, nothing too extreme but you know there's blood there's revealing clothings so basically what willie's wonderland is is nicholas cage which i don't think i should need to explain nicholas freaking cage in the movie his car breaks down as far as i'm aware this is the main plot of the movie his car breaks down and he takes the job as a janitor at a place called willie's wonderland and that place used to be a you know, animatronic pizzeria, kind of like Freddy's, you know, where you have the animatronics up on stage and kids can go play some arcade games, they can have birthday parties there, they can get pizza, all that stuff. And there's like 10 million animatronics at this restaurant, like, I don't remember any of the names. There's like a chameleon, a knight, there's a weasel, there's an ostrich, all sorts of wacky animals, and there's like at least seven or something. It's crazy. I don't know how they're gonna fit it into a 90 minute film. Yeah, he gets the job there. Uh, for a little bit, stuff goes wrong, and, you know, hijinks ensues. It's an action movie, though, so I I'm expecting some kick-ass action, especially with Nicolas Cage, all right? That's really it. Uh, I'll talk more about my thoughts after we watch the trailer, which, by the way, hey, let's go watch the trailer right now. It's 15 seconds. We'll be over like that. All right, because it is only 15 seconds, there's going to be a lot happening on screen, so it may be a little bit difficult for me to keep up. I'm gonna watch it straight through, the first time, without pausing, second time, we'll go back, we'll pause. All right, here we go. Screen media. It's birthday time. Okay, so there's Willy. It's your birthday. There's the ostrich, there's people, there's cage busting down door, gorilla, pinball, screaming, blood, murder, and then the logo. Okay, that... <laughs> I knew it was gonna be fast-paced. Okay, so now let's go slow, <laughs> because that was a lot. All right, scene by scene, let's go. So we have screen media, and then we have Nicolas Cage outside of the restaurant, because we see the logo uh, in the next scene, and it seems like Willie's talking to us. I'm guessing it's Willie, because it would just be weird to have someone else be talking. So he says, hey kid, something, something. Do you know what time it is? It's birthday time. So now Nicolas Cage is in the restaurant. Did I miss anything? No. So he's in the restaurant, based off of his expression and the way Willy the Weasel is moving, I'm guessing this is probably one of the first times he's in the restaurant. I'm pretty sure it's run down as well. Okay, so he senses or hues Willy, then he turns around and Willy is facing the other direction because he's supposed to be facing out this way, but he's turned. We got more characters back here. You can't really see behind my face cam. I'll move. I don't know. Hopefully I'm out of the way. You got the gorilla here. I'm pretty sure his name is like Gus, and then you have someone else right here, I can't remember. There's like, again, 7 million animatronics, so I don't remember the names of them all. Um, it looks like he has an actual microphone, and then there's a basketball hoop. So next year, so this is a 2021 release date, so I don't know when in 2021, but sometime next year. And then we have, it's your birthday. So, he's in the bathroom. <laughs> Maybe he just had to take a pee break. I don't know, man. Or maybe he's just looking around, seeing what he's doing. Because uh, he is the janitor, after all. So you do have to clean the bathrooms. I don't know who wrote this. Um, I'm guessing it's made out of blood. It doesn't really look like blood. It looks a bit too dry, but maybe it's been there for a bit. I don't know. And then we have someone in the vents. Interesting. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> I'll talk about all the FNAF parallels later. I just want to go through the main trailer first, and then I'll talk about all that. So yeah, um... Ozzy the Ostrich, I'm pretty sure is his name. So he's got a nice little hat on. It looks like a whoopee cushion. And he's peeking out from the vents. Can I see that again? 
That's actually kind of cool. I don't know if they're using actual puppets or if they're using people in costumes. I think it might it might be a mix of the both. I'm not entirely sure if I'm being honest. And then we have this. So yeah, again, it is all rated. I did warn you. So it looks like they are in some sort of play place. I don't know. Are these swimming pools? I don't really know what's going on. Um, yeah, so there's a stage behind them. And there, they're making out. And then we got that. Join the party. I don't know what party they're talking about. I'm guessing just the birthday party, which I don't really want to be part of. So, no thank you. And then he busts down his door like a badass, dude. Let's go, Nicholas Cage. I, I will say, usually, um, I'm not hyped for movies that rip off the FNAF movie. But this one in particular. I, I am a little bit excited for it, just because it's not directly ripping off FNAF, even though we will get to that very shortly because there's a lot of things we need to talk about. Like, it's R-rated, and it's an action movie as well. Like, I feel like that's gonna be a cool part about it as well. Also, the animatronics, of course, but also the R-rated and the action, that's gonna make the movie so good. I feel like when the FNAF movie comes out, it's probably gonna be PG-13, which I'm not looking forward to, but I feel like that's probably what's going to be. So I'm excited to see how different studios handle a R-rated animatronic movie. So this is the Something Happy Fun Room, and it's a private property, and I'm pretty sure he busted it out. Yeah, so he's entering the private property. I don't know if this is the main building or if it's just a different room that is not um, accessible by the public. I don't know. Nicolas Cage, of course. Oh, what is that? This is Gus, I'm pretty sure. So it looks like he... So, this is the toilet, and it looks like Gus comes down from the ceiling, and he kicks Nicolas Cage out of the stall with his foot. That's gonna be- that's gonna be funny, and it's gonna be awesome. And then we have a shotgun. Oh boy, I have no clue who this guy is. Security cameras. Or FNAF parallels, let's go boys. Then we got pinball, because it's an arcade. Looks like he's- Either he's firing a gun, or he is celebrating his triumphancy of defeating the characters, I don't know. He's in the kitchen. We have someone trying to defend themselves, it looks like. Like they're running away, or they're holding a door shut, and they're screaming. I don't know what's chasing them. Oh, well, look at that, someone's chasing people. So it seems like these are employees. I don't know where they're running, it looks like maybe some backstage area that usual usually people will go to. Because it seems like an odd environment they're in right now. It looks like this is a corner, you know? So I don't really know where they are in the restaurant. Then we have some blood on a cake, of course. Then we have, oh my god, dude. More awesome action, which I'm so excited for. So he's hitting something, and then we have the logo. Awesome. Okay, so now let's stop, and let's talk about the parallels with FNAF, because there's a lot, if you haven't. I'm pretty sure one of the people working on the film on Twitter said like they had never heard of FNAF, which I don't believe that in the slightest, just saying. If you are making a horror movie about killer animatronics who may or may not be possessed, cue the leaked screenshots of the script which have complete parallels to FNAF and the games and the books and all that stuff. Just, just throw those up on the screen. Yeah, look at them. Oh, they look great. Oh, and he bites a child at a party. That's so cool. There's missing people and suspicious smells. Oh, that's so crazy. I've never heard of that before. Like, if you're making a movie about killer animatronics at a birthday party at a pizza restaurant, ha haunted by dead kids, and in the past one of them bit a kid at a birthday party, and they smell suspicious, and they're oozing, like, blood and mucus, for example, and you are a, maybe a parent? I don't know. You, you tell me you never heard of FNAF. That's just outright bogus, man. So I don't believe that in the slightest. <laughs> just saying, that's my personal opinion. Clearly, they would have scoured the market to see, oh, are there any movies that are similar to ours? They would have came across um, The Hug, they would have came across the Banana Splits movie, because that was only like two years ago, I think. And of course, if you look up killer animatronics, 
you are going to find FNAF. There was no doubt in my mind. Alright, I look up killer animatronics and I am seeing a whole lot of FNAF. I'm seeing some fusion videos, I'm seeing some game theory videos, I'm seeing some artwork, I'm seeing... I will say, it's not all FNAF, I am seeing Chucky, I'm seeing The Hug, like I said, and I am seeing some Willy's Wonderland, but it's, mo it's mostly FNAF. So the fact that you've never heard of FNAF, I don't believe that for a second. I'm sorry, but at the same time, no, I'm not. I think it's going to be interesting, again, seeing how a different studio is going to approach a killer animatronic movie that not only is rated R, but also an action movie with Nicolas Cage. I think that, again, even though I'm calling them out for very clearly ripping off a of FNAF, I am, I'm excited for this movie. I wasn't excited for the Banana Splits just because that movie made no sense, you know? Like, the banana splits back in the day were cute, they were kid-friendly, all that stuff, and then they turned into killer animatronics, so that was clearly being based off of FNAF. The Hug has an exception because it was a short film, not made by a huge company, though it was on Hulu. It wasn't a movie in theaters, so that is an exception. It's a short film. And this one, again, clearly taking things from FNAF, but at least they're gonna do their own thing, and it does kind of make sense. I will say, FNAF did not start the killer robots movie craze, you know? Like Terminator, Chucky, again, I mentioned him earlier, they've all done it before. But the parallels bet between Willy's Wonderland and FNAF are just too big, you know? Like, they collide so much. Though, that doesn't mean I'm not excited to see what it's gonna be like. I could probably talk more, but honestly, I don't really need to. People are gonna be mad that I've made the video this long off of a 15 minute trailer, I mean 15 second trailer anyway, so I'll stop here for now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll get some more FNAF movie news in the future because I mean, Jason Bloom and you know, MadPat, they were talking on Twitter like a month ago. Haven't heard anything about that. So yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.